Hi. After um, the video the other day, I thought that was the end of the uh, front forks. So I just uh, so, but I've decided to make one more front fork assembly um, video. This is it. When I started today to work on this second front fork, because I'm going to disassemble the first one and then start again because um, the seal is the old one. But when I started working on this uh, second one, I first put a bit of um, the blue grease. Here we are, the normal one which I tend to use. Waterproof grease made in Canada. So I put some grease around here and then um, I thought I'll just push the um, the seal down here. But I found it, it wasn't easy. And in fact, I had to get a, um, a bearing press. Let me just pick one up where it is. Oh, here we go. Actually, it's down here. I've got a set of these. This one's 40 millimeters. But you could actually use the old sealer as long as it's um, small enough. Because I needed to um, hammer it down with a hammer. It was that um, it was that tight in here. So I didn't... Um, I talked last time about using some... Um, what was the stuff called? Some sealant. But I realised there's no need for sealant. If you get the right size seals, then there's no room for a sealant actually. So apart from putting the grease in, which just helped it going down there, um, there's no need for that sealant at all. But I got I had to have some of these um, bearing press things, which are solid metal things. I've got a set of them. I just pick it up. It's a big set. Oh. Here we go. That's, I just have the big set because I do lots of different... Um, I've got lots of different motorbikes. Oh, it's pretty heavy as well. So, I've got um, one of these uh, things. I'll stick it on top, of course. And then I made sure that it went down uh, evenly. And I use sort of a club hammer to... But you can use any hammer as long as it goes in. It must go in straight. That's the important thing. So I did have to do a lot of whacking to get it down there. You can see the the, the ridge around there where I'm going to put the um, here we go this little clip which drops down into that ridge. I'm going to put some of this uh, blue grease on this. Um, just cover it, not cover it, but just smear it over so there's no no rust going to come on into whatever corrosion. So that that goes down there. But I thought I'd do this video because it, I was really surprised. And when I actually put the two seals together, an old one and a new one, you can you can see there's a difference there. It's maybe a millimetre, millimetre and a half. Maybe just a millimetre. I don't know if you can you can't see that, I know. But there is a difference on the width of about a millimetre. So whether the old one, that's the standard size, or whether it's just shrunk over the seven or eight years, not sure. But there's definitely a difference. And you definitely need a bit of, um, is the word force, to push this down. And as I also, also mentioned, of course, the way it goes in is you have the, the markings on the top. And it just goes in that way. And obviously seats just below that um, rim there. So I was a bit surprised when I came to do it uh, earlier today. And uh, I found it uh, just wasn't a push fit. And um, that was the problem with the other one. It just pushed in easily. And I thought... Uh, that it that was how it went but of course it wasn't i remember when i dismantled them they didn't come out easily so maybe there's some corrosion holding them maybe there's something in there that um i've been pulling to hold them in place i'm not sure the other thing i didn't mention on the other video was this bolt that fits down the bottom as you know i've got a, a new bolt allen sort of head thing and i've got some, these new little copper washers but what i forgot to mention i always put the grease on the threads and obviously what I did mention on the other video I remember was don't over tighten them because uh, you know one day you may have to take them apart again and um, just as long as it um, it holds it and doesn't leak of course and when you actually do assemble it then you can just nip it up just to make sure but definitely don't swing on the thing anyway so that was the two things I wanted to um, discuss and as you can see uh, to assemble this other one I've started by putting this seal in here then what I'm going to do before I um, put the um, the top one here we go. Before I put this down here, of course, I'm going to assemble the bits, and once I get that down there, I'm probably going to put some of the uh, four coil down in here, and also on this um, this chrome to make it easy to slide down, to make give it a good fit. 
So I think that's all I wanted to um, talk about today. So I'll just stick this video up, uh, the add-on as we might call it. It's just something that was, um, it was a bit of a surprise when I found that this seal just didn't uh, drop in easily. You needed to use a bit of force to get it to sit in there really. So that's, that's it for uh, the video. Hope you enjoy. Bye.